What's up you CYBL army and money makers welcome back to the channel we are seeing 22% spike in CYBL it is about to sense to be precise 0.021 21% up today in five days we're up 77% for one month we're up 110% and quite honestly in last five weeks we have done tremendously we are more than 125% up from the price point of 0.00 so we were a sub penny stock we spiked back up i have been covering cybl pretty consistently in my videos and this is what it makes a difference take a look nasdaq is down 215 points or 1.59 percent even though we have pretty good jobs data that were released before a couple of hours dow jones is down 1.45 percent or 400 and 89 95 points but cybl is staying strong i want to review what exactly is happening what you should be looking for if you made 100 percent what you can do with the investment that you have whether you should swing trade it or whether you should long uh, keep it for a long term i'll let you decide but what i am going to do is i'll be sharing my research analysis and what i have been thinking personally for myself in this video i'm not a financial advisor nor i'm a certain certified professional so do your own due diligence research and analysis before you buy or sell any of these stocks this is an OTC stock but we have seen such a great momentum we have been looking into multiple OTC stock these days Isla CYBL IQST HCMC and all of our stocks are doing pretty pretty good I'm here to share whatever I can hoping you can make informed financial decision and give back to the community in return all I ask you is to hit the like button uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell all those three things does not really cost you anything but it helps out the channel and I have been putting a ton of energy effort and my time in building this video so without further delay let's jump in so previous close was below two cents we were sub penny stock as i just explained we were at 0 0.0009 or 0 0.009 and right now we are at 21 so about two cents just before one day yesterday we were at 17 so three quarters and a penny now right now we are looking pretty pretty bullish and take a look the market cap is 127 million CYBL has been continuously showing us consistent results in terms of the revenue and uh, we are looking forward to see what they have done in 2021 in terms of the profitability I'll keep you posted as soon as they release more data but if you take a look at the volume the average volume used to be 42.6 million today's volume in just uh, about in one hour we are seeing 12.5 million so i'm pretty hopeful that this is going to be about the average volume if you overall take a look in cybl's historical volume yesterday uh, compared to once again 42 million or 43 million as you see as an average volume we we're 80 million in volume so we got rid of the deficit when it comes to volume and volume as I always mention it helps out the stock take a look we were sub penny stock February 23 we got back up one cent so 9275 and then we got back up and about one cent so higher low one cent 112 once again higher low this was almost a higher low or stable we got back once again one higher low 125 today we are seeing 175 as the low and that is also true for the higher highs so 102 125 1245 45 and we are up back up to two cents so we have done 100 percent return on investment now what are the possibilities that this will do 100 percent plus from this price point there are a few things you need to note one is the overall market sentiment second is the ukraine and Russia, russia situation third is what the fed is going to announce mid-march around the rates hike and what do they believe in terms of the inflation data so those are some things that can impact overall stock market i'm not saying just for cybl but if the overall sentiment is down there might be a challenge for cybl to go up regardless if the stock is good when there will be a rebound the stock and the company itself has been doing good better best day by day so when the market rebounds they will be the first one to spike back up and we have been continuously consistently seeing this in our many penny stocks and otc portfolio and cybl is one of a kind let's take a look further i wanted to really quickly show you how the moving average looks like so 
right now we are meeting with the moving average real time price point is 0 0.2 and the moving average is also 0 0.2 very close to 0 0.2 whereas our rsi is 64 so rsi went a little bit up because there is a little bit more buying so when the buying goes higher the rsi goes up that may stabilize the stock or maybe sometimes it pushes into the negative direction but for cybl i strongly believe that if it sustains about the above this price point of zero 0.172 we can see one more higher price point close to 288 289 and even three cents in very near future now why i am saying that let me show you this chart we are making higher and higher lows so take a look one to seven we went to one to one to seven and then we went to one to eight and then we went to 159 and then we went to once again 172 and right now we are at almost two cents and you started seeing that this moving average started going into the upward direction in last few days in last few weeks which is pretty important because if i show you this chart further you should be able to see we are at 0 0.008009 just on 24th of february and then we got a ramp up and then we stabilize we got another ramp up so i do believe believe that they, there might be some stabilization or consolidation on the price but as long as it stays about 175 we are still in the bullish or the positive territory that you want to understand now what is going on from the company front let's take a look they have been sharing a ton of, ton of updates we're pretty close to 10,000 followers and the company has been sharing one of their goal they also shared during the shareholder q a someone asked no reverse split amendment so the company shared just before a day or two here is what you need to know in terms of uh, the no reverse split policy that the company has so we are not expecting any reverse split into the stock many times OTC stocks when they want to get uplisted on Nasdaq they reverse split themselves to meet certain bars in terms of the price point so on and so forth but that is not going to be the case for CYBL and it eventually helps shareholders I'm not really a big fan of reverse uh, reverse split we have seen one of our favorite stock CTRM we have seen reverse split and we have seen what happened to the price so personally me while I'm not a financial advisor this video is not for the only for the entertainment purposes not a buy or sell advice but what I believe personally is I'm not really a big fan of reverse split so you want to consider that part as well and the updates in terms of the updates we know that in Q4 they crushed their revenue they crushed their own guidance they have been booking more and more revenue they have the tie-up they also had one more tie-up this month with uh, with the and they're partnering with one of the company to ramp up their Department of Defense revenue up to $15 million. Here's the update they're focusing on. Next acquisition, they have a deal into the pipeline as they're suggesting here. Their focus is to drive business units, organic uh, growth, their New York City strategy meeting that is coming up on, uh, on March 4th that they will, or, or today, that they will be sharing more and more updates. Phase two of the company's platform and business unit integration is underway on their website, so on and so forth. And the company is also focused on their digital platform solution which they shared more updates that they want to grow into the European market in execution mode. They don't want to lose the focus though into Department of Defense and what is working really, really well for them. They also give, gave us some guidance around their 2022 roadmap on the revenue. They are looking forward to do 44, 45 million dollars in revenue. I'm particularly interested in the profitability, how much money company brings back home for themselves, their shareholders and their investors. And then they have big plans across the US and ALS business updates as well they want to plan for hardware and software releases in Q1 we'll be able to know the ARG group partnership has been announced as their channel partner that will be hopefully bring them close to 15 million dollars in revenue as the company shared with us next to this execution they're also focusing on cha supply chain management the issues for the most part has been resolved and we'll be able to get more and more updates as we progress in further into Q1 one thing that you also want to note is their ITS business unit which is going aggressively growing at the moment they are going to share more updates around the renewable energy locations and, and what are their engineering plans as well as their headquarter meeting that they're focusing on south american renewable project analysis has been completed as the company mentioned with the significant pipeline opportunity in q3 and q4 of 2022 while we're ramping up in the price i want to also show you the latest data on the short volume when usually the stock especially otc stocks spike up 
we do see higher short volume and let's see where we are in terms of CYBL. The FinTrack total volume on March 3rd, that was yesterday, 80.6 million as I just mentioned to you. So the average volume, if you really want to know once again, is 42 million, whereas our volume yesterday, real-time volume yesterday, for yesterday's trading session was 80.6 million, pretty healthy vo volume. It's almost double than the average volume, which I love to see. I love to see volume, and that gives a ton of momentum into the stock price, whereas the Finra short volume was 40.2 million. That puts the stock at 49.91, which is relatively higher FINRA short volume ratio. However, we have seen the higher short volume of 54, 50, 38, 54. And as we ramp up more in terms of the volume, we may see a higher short volume ratio. But in my opinion, that's fine. We have seen 50s in 50s, in 60s, and in 70s in case of HCMC and ILS, higher short volumes. And still, it did not really prevent the stock from spiking up. I love to see what I see. We are into the bullish zone. If we sustain about two cents, a lot better. But as long as we stay about 0.0175, that's once again a massive, massive strong support for CYBL. Guys, I hope you like this video. Hit that like button. Join the journey. Don't miss out on and fill up uh, if you have capability. Don't invest, by the way, the money that you're not willing to lose because this is risk versus reward. You can make a ton of money as we have seen in last four, five, six days. We doubled up. So if you bought it at 0 0.009, the money is more than double. Now, what that what can happen? Let's say if you already have it, there are two ways you can do it. One is the swing trade. That means you sell everything and wait for once again the right price point that you want to get back in another way that i like i usually do is i sell 50 percent of my investment which means the rest of the money that is in the stock is for free because that's the profit that's not my own principal money that did not really come out of my savings account or my savings what i can do with that money is i can ride it for free and i could be in it to win it all the way up until the end and along the way you still want to do the research you want to find out where the stock is going you might want to make another trades and that's how you double triple quadruple your money in a short period of time right now we are in a turbulence market there's so much uncertainty not in the united states but across the globe there's so much uncertainty where the inflation is going to take us there's so much uncertainty what's going to happen with the interest rate so there's a lot of fud going on into the market the crypto market is also turbulence. There, there's a ton of turbulence into the crypto market as well. But that's when you make money. When there is volatility, there are two things. You can make money big time or you can lose money big time. So guys, do your own due diligence. Don't forget to hit the like button so we can spread the word out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out and turn on the notification bell. This does not cost you anything. While I'm putting a lot of time, I would appreciate your help, support, and all your likes. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.